All right, so what do we got in the box? Like you say, this is a YA-101 OB to enhance code scanner. And this is what it is, King Bolin OBD2 scanner. So let's see what's in here. I apologize if there's any wind noise. It looks like you got, sorry about the cam work here for a second. what's in the box you got your obviously your user manual there a scanner looks very very simple looks extremely simple put that back in there this right here now this looks extremely simple to use I've seen some other youtubers use these and they seemed like uh, they were very pleased with the performance so Let's hook it up. I do have a check engine light in this truck. Let's hook it up and see what kind of trouble codes we got. So, all you do, looks like, get this twiz a little twist tie on there. Get that off of there. And it looks like all you do, this cord, looks like it's decent length. And, uh, yeah, like a three foot cord, which is plenty of, Plenty of cord for what anybody would need, uh, at least for what I need. So let me find my OBD2 port, which is here, I believe, and just plug it in, just like so. And it looks like it automatically comes out. I don't even have the ignition on right now, and it's lit up. So let's get in. It's just a typical OBD2 scanner, I'm sure. You just turn your ignition on. And you see we have a check engine light lit up right over there. It's not going to go off. It's going to stay, as you can see. Let's see if I can get you in there. Check engine right there. So... This is already lit up, so let's see. Let's go into, hit the OK button apparently, go into diagnostic, OK. Give it a second to figure out what's going on. Looks like you got a whole bunch of options here. Check engine light is on, so yeah, MIL um, is your check engine light status is on. So let's slow it down to DTC is diagnostic trouble codes count. It says I have four, which <laughs> okay. We'll hit okay. Read codes, okay. Stored codes, okay. Generic, and then you can select this is a Ford. Evaporative Emission Control System Control Valve. O2 Sensor Circuit Slow. O2 Sensor Heater Circuit Bank 2 Sensor 1. Lack of HO2 Switches Sensor Indicates Lean. So these are all emissions warnings. Um, O2 Sensor, O2 Sensor, O2 Sensor. Um, catalytic Converter Issues. So... Um, actually, I already knew that, um, but I wanted to uh, see if this scanner could figure it out. So let's see. We'll go to if there's any pending codes. No pending codes. Okay. This is really easy to navigate, guys. All you got is an up and down, an OK, and a back button. It's real easy. So you can see you have all your live data in here. 
and you should be able to start the vehicle and uh, then it should read like your so there's your engine coolant temp RPMs these are all just live readings what the computer is telling it and a lot of these are um, this is an older vehicle so some of these probably aren't going to show up spark advance intake air temperature mass airflow throttle position O2 sensors a lot of those are zero that's why I have a check engine light so let's go into race codes yes I want to clear the trouble codes trouble codes have been cleared so you can see we cleared the check engine light so guys this is um, a pretty good simple little scanner it's, I kind of like it it looks very small so it's you can carry it with you when you're doing you know if you have a, a yard or a you know garage whatever you can carry it with you it's really really uh, gives you a lot of information for the money this is uh, like 30 bucks on Amazon so hop over there and get pick you one up this is very handy Looks like you can also change your units to metric English or English. Yep, you can change your units. Um, data logging, um, it'll keep track. Looks like um, voltage test. Um, you can see uh, voltage is good. Now see, uh, we're shut off right now. I don't have the key on or anything. It's telling me we got 12.7 volts, which is, it's it's okay. The battery is old and weak. Um, it's good. Uh, but um, I'm sure when it's running, uh, the voltage will go up.